We have built a ton of really cool things over the past couple years on YouTube, but nothing quite like this. In today's episode, you're gonna see us completely transform a 1988 Chevy G20 army van into an ice cream truck. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Are we creating this awesome ice cream truck? You know we couldn't go down the road of not making some merchandise to go with it. So we got a bunch of stuff. We got a few different sticker logos, air freshener, keychains, a bunch of hats, a few different types of t-shirts, even a long sleeve. So if you guys are into this ice cream truck livery, you're gonna wanna head over to throttle.com, pick up some of this merchandise, support the crew. man is here even though it's Thursday yeah I just heard him why is he here on a Thursday but well, it don't matter let's get some ice cream <laughs> what the hell <laughs> dude are you serious <laughs> Expecting something completely different than this. Uh -oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? Oh my god! Do not pull that off. It's all the way through into the inside. <laughs> Nothing, uh, SOS Customs kit. <laughs> oh my god, it has foil tape. It has duct tape on it, Beckerman. That's how you know it's legit. Oh my god. It's legit mix. It's all right. All the way through. Oh. It'll blow. The roof right. is going to blow off on the freeway. Look at this nightmare in here. Where does this even go? Oh my god. Weeks have passed since we last checked in on the van. That thing is a piece of crap. And about a week ago, we made a bid on eBay for a new van, and it just arrived here in San Diego, and we're gonna go unload it from the truck right now. And apparently it has zero rust. So that was the reason why we bought it. It runs and drives, has a good title. Might be a little bit rough, but it should be a lot better. This is actually made out of fiberglass, so the rust that you see pretty much everywhere is a result of this topper not being installed properly. I think the first order of business is to chop the roof off of this van. And basically what we're gonna do is transplant this whole thing to that van, but we're gonna do it a little bit better.
All right, so you guys see this stream here, uh, how we, uh, how the boys cut the roof? And I'm gonna start pinching this down, I'm gonna start welding, tacking the top and bottom, that way it doesn't come apart at all. Start taking measurements of the floor and I'm gonna start laying down hardwood floor. All right, boys, we got a fender flare kit for the ice cream van. All right, so we ended up going with a fiberglass kit. And what's cool about this is you don't have to cut the fenders. It just kind of tucks up right in there. Fits pretty good, actually. I think it goes something like that. You know, we couldn't leave the van stock body. We thought that this fender flare kit kind of just gave it a little extra spice. So our good friend Mike designed a livery for the van. We're gonna pop it up on the screen right now. I'm so hyped on it. It looks so good. cleaned up and by me and van I mean just the glass uh, next time you see me in this van we'll be driving to the body shop so I'll see you in a few what's going on guys welcome back it is the next day and today we are taking the van uh, to the body shop Alright guys, so we over here at the body shop. So this right here, we told them to just fix that as best as they can. We told them to cover these holes, all the little holes on top. And then we'll pick it up in a few days. And from there, we'll drop it off at premium. One eternity later. We are, and when I say we, me, me and my buddy Matt, you guys remember him from Out of Glass okay. Master. Uh, we are gonna go to our paint shop and we are gonna pick up the ice cream truck. Look at this thing. Yo, it's so bright. Yo, that, that <laughs> yeah. Bright as hell. Yeah. All right, guys, what's going on? I just got here to Auto Glass Master in Temecula, and I'm here to pick up the van. Look at this thing. It's gonna be cool. Oh, windshield's dope. I'll be able to see now when I drive this thing. This shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a turd. Look at this thing. Oh, it is super, super light. Oh, these are very good. So, the vinyl labs came through really oh, good. Some oh, some great print quality. Jesus. I just put the roof. Yeah, oh man, there was uh, there was quite a bit of setup there. It was, uh, it was quite the mission. We're here to help, so whatever you need me to do, I'm, I've never wrapped before. Right, you need me to the whole thing. stuff down, I'll hold the thing. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. I'll hold your drink while you work. Yeah. 
Wow, he's a rap installer after all. Yeah, no, no bubble. <laughs> Check it out. Just the idea of all the uh, separate little pieces that'll be ending up making the big final product. So those are gonna be all the nice finishing touches. You got big old side of the truck, all other separate panels, everything all sized up. Big old excess of color to do the fenders because they're gigantic. So these are pretty much that, right? Yes. yes, so this is literally at a quarter scale of that. And we then, after I got it all separated and figured out how everything was gonna go onto the truck and actually make it a thing, um, sent it off to Vinyl Labs and they were kind enough to print it and actually did it really fast. And I'm really impressed with the quality, honestly. It's like super vibrant color, so yeah. Very sick, yeah, it looks great. Never done like a commercial style rap, so. It's always been like a color change to where like, you know, if things are a little out of place, you're not gonna see it because there's nothing to line up. So with this one, we have lines going this way and then we have lines going up. So like I was saying earlier, like if things are even tilted just a little bit, then the lines can shoot out this way or they can shoot out completely a different direction. So. Crazy already, stop! Awesome. So it's super crisp. Hell yeah. seats over here but, but then here um, I've done this a few times so I know sort of the challenges they're dealing with and with older vehicles they have a lot more body lines and stuff in them so as you roll over those body lines it's taking up material and it's causing the material to do kind of funny things they're just trying to calculate how much of that's going to happen as they start laying it to make sure that all of the artwork lines up you don't have these weird alignment problems when it's done so these guys do this all the time so I know it's going to turn out great.
right. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on over there? Oh, some professional rappers. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> and then David. And David's like, whoa, 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 whoa. guys are taking care of all the heavy lifting on the van and Ricky and I are just over here doing the easy stuff. We're trying to yeah. speed up the process a little bit. Yeah, this is our, our overfenders, the fiberglass yeah, ones right. that uh, Ricky and I modified. Putting the color on them, that way the guys can focus on the big panels and we're just taking care of the, the little stuff. I want it to look perfect, but at the end of the day, I have to understand that this is not an easy, uh, you know, band to do. It's it's very rounded. It has all kinds of corners and stuff like that. Hinges get in the way, but you know, we're making it work here. We're You're killing it, it, brother. You're killing it, man. Look at this thing, dude. Right now, they're putting on the rear fender. Chris is doing it right now. We're just mocking it up. Are right, mocking it? It just looks finished. That's it looks great. good. No, it looks really, really good. Huge shout out to the premium family for letting us come up to their shop, get in their way all day long. We helped them a little <laughs> bit. We actually wrapped the over fenders, the front spoiler, while they were doing this side of the van. Yeah. We still have probably a day or two more of work to do. Easily, so more days, yeah. I don't know if we're going to. I don't know if we're going to get back up here before it's finished, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it all yeah. done. It looks sick. All right, it's crazy. Several days later. We're back up at Riverside California Premium Auto Styling. These guys have made a lot of progress in the last few days. The van is looking sweet. It's looking more like an ice cream delivery vehicle every time I see it. So Ricky and I are uh, going to stay out of their way, hopefully. Put the over fenders back on that we wrapped them here a few days ago. And we should be putting sprinkles on the top here very shortly. <laughs> so we're almost done. Did you guys put a cherry to put on top or no?
Okay, well the guys did all the major work here at Premium. The van is, for the most part, fully wrapped. And now it's time to go back and start putting on all the sprinkles, which is the fun part. <laughs> we do have a schematic of where they go, and as you can see, this one I have in my hand right here is this one right here above this guy. The boys already cleaned off the roof, so we can just go ahead and slap these on. And it goes like somewhere like this. Right about there. And the cool part about this is there really no rhyme or reason. Just get them on there, spread them out. It's just like sprinkles when you put them on your ice cream. You don't really plan out where they go, as long as they hit the ice cream. Ricky, they're putting the sprinkles on without you. What? He's not. He is, they are. He's not. Putting sprinkles on, Ricky? No, no. Oh, I'm you got it. This one. You got it. You got it. Alright, I'll come back. I'll come back later. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> of the truck looks right.
We hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube episode. If you did, please remember to give us a big thumbs up and consider subscribing because not only is the wrap done, but we have an entire room full of parts to install onto the van. So we've got wheels and tires, suspension, brakes, cooling upgrades, we've got audio system upgrades, we got the freezer, we got a cooler, we have a ton of things and you don't wanna miss out. So remember, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thank you guys so much in advance. If you did decide to pick up some throttle merch, we really appreciate you. And if you didn't pick up any merch and you still watch the video, we really appreciate you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.